as others have mentioned, this day has been a long time coming. The idea for a museum dedicated to African Americans was first put forward by black veterans of the Civil War. And years later, the call was picked up by members of the civil rights generation, by men and women who knew how to fight for what was right and strive for what is just. This is their day. This is your day. It's an honor to be here to see the fruit of your labor. And it is on this spot, alongside the monuments to those who gave birth to this nation and those who worked so hard to perfect it, that generations will remember the sometimes difficult, often inspirational, but always central role that African Americans have played in the life of our country. This museum will celebrate that history. What we build here won't just be an achievement for our time, it will be a monument for all time. It will do more than simply keep those memories alive. Just like the Air and Space Museum challenges us to set our sights higher, or the Natural History Museum encourages us to look closer, or the Holocaust Museum calls us to fight persecution wherever we find it, this museum should inspire us as well should stand as proof that the most important things in life rarely come quickly or easily. It should remind us that although we have yet to reach the mountaintop, we cannot stop climbing. When our children look at Harriet Tubman's shawl or, or Nat Turner's Bible or the plane flown by a Tuskegee Airmen, I don't want them to be seen as figures somehow larger than life. I want them to see how ordinary Americans could do extraordinary things. And when future generations hear these songs of pain and progress and struggle and sacrifice, I hope they will not think of them as somehow separate from the larger American story. I want them to see it as central and important part of our shared story, a call to see ourselves in one another a call to remember that each of us is made in God's image. And that's the history we will preserve within these walls, the history of a people who, in the words of Dr. King, injected new meaning and dignity into the veins of civilization. May we remember their stories. May we live up to their example. Thank you. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.